What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today, we are going to talk about Luis Patino. Uh, he dominated against the Yankees yesterday. Uh, we're talking uh, many frames of just zero and runs and lots of strikeouts and what I call uh, the King Cole. That is the highest CSW of the day. He was so close. 37% is just really, really, really high. Normally, we see like 30% from a guy. 37% is super, super high. Uh, and it's nice to see this. You know, this prospect we've talked about for a while when he was on the Padres do super well all of a sudden. He had 97 pitches yesterday. I, oof, this could be it. But let's talk about what is it about Patino? He's really two pitches. It's a four-seamer and a slider. Four-seamer gets a lot of whiffs. The slider should get a ton, too. Um, this is a really nice camera angle with Tampa. It's a little higher up. So we're not going to see the depth of his slider as much as we normally do. So keep that in mind as you watch us. But we're going to look at this fourth inning where, um, spoiler alert, he struck out the side. And we're going to see how he did it. Here we go. So there is that slider first pitch. He totally did not execute it whatsoever. Uh, so we'll get past that one. And he throws a 95 mile per hour slider down there. So uh, for Stanton, he's used to a lot of secondary pitches. Uh, after seeing the first one miss, though, I'm all surprised he didn't think, okay, Patino, this younger guy, is going to go back with a heater. And that was a pretty juicy one to swing at. But then you never know with a raise, and they might have a game plan. Just be like, no, nah, we're just only going to throw sliders, and we're not going to throw a fastball. We'll see what do we get now. Uh, ooh, 96 up, and that's really cool. I uh, 95 down, and then 96 up. Completely different eye level there for for Stanton. And honestly, after seeing two pitches down like that from Patino, you might get in the back of your mind like, hmm, maybe their game plan now is to just stay low with me. Uh, they might just try to stay there the entire time, and you're not really thinking about up and. That looks so tempting, and that's a really nice pitch right at the top of the zone. Ugh. Good stuff from Patino. And that's really his, his major out pitch. Maybe eventually it will be the slider. Uh, and, you know, he still throws it in two strike counts and does get some strikeouts in this game with it. But uh, the fastball is really the pitch. At least it was for last night for Patino. So there, there's a slider, and you saw more of a sweeping action to that one than more of a drop. I um, 87. You can kind of see how late uh, Stanton is on this. Uh, he's really preparing for a fastball. And he's just thinking, oh, I think this might be a strike. I need a swing. Um, normally, he's able to push that to right field pretty effectively. It's it's a little too high uh, that Patino wanted. Like, if that was here, he doesn't get that. But this he does. Looks like they're going high heater here at 1-2. A little too high. But 97. I mean, this guy's got heat. So, I mean, that, that's a pretty obvious thing. So, 97 up like that, you know what the next pitch is going to be, especially 2-2, two, two, uh, because you can throw one away here and then go back to the fastball that you feel comfortable in. So, you're going to throw a slider at 2-2. Two, two. I mean, it's got to be what it is. No. Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm stupid. What do I know? What do I know? He blew him away with 96. This is pretty cool. Um, I will say... You know, I talked yesterday about intentionality with the catcher and stuff. I do believe that they're trying to go up like this. They're not trying to go here, up and in. It's very dangerous. But this is this is a great. I mean, this this location is fantastic. You know, not necessarily what he intended to do, but beautiful. It's foul tip into the glove, like blew by him. At 96, you understand, of course, to catch up to 96 inside is you got to be you, know, you got to get the barrel out quicker than you do when it's away just think of that about the bat plane uh, as it goes out uh you just have more time in outside pitches um so so that that feels great <laughs> you just struck out john carlos stanton on your fastball uh first pitch slider yep oh, that's actually a curveball look at that on 77 and i'm all for that you guys know this it's free real estate uh, first pitch curveballs are awesome, and oftentimes you guys you guys get batters uh, uh, on their front foot, not really looking for it. They either take it for a called strike or if they try and get antsy on it, then they often hit it for an out. So I'm a fan of it. Now you now 77, you want to back that up with 95, and it even looks a little bit harder. So you should throw a fastball. Oh, they throw in another slider. Look at that front door. Torres gave up on it. Had enough of the uh, the lateral movement to come back. Um, deeper in counts, I think this will get punished as a guy might be expecting a slider and all of a sudden feels it right under the barrel and he can just slap this down the line. Uh, maybe even drive it over the left field seats um, if you do this deeper in counts. But early on, Torres is looking for a heater still and he gets you know, he gets a slider inside so he's able to take that first strike. 
Let's see here. And this must be the book against Torres, uh, is that you don't want to give him a fastball. So that's three straight breakers. And props to Patino for throwing two of them in the zone for a strike. Um, I often get asked this. Nick, what is the most important pitch to have in a repertoire? Right? What, it, what it even is the best pitch mix? And I don't actually say it's a curveball, a changeup, or a slider, or a fastball. I say you got to have a pitch you can throw for a strike that's fast. So it could be a cutter, it could be a four-seamer, a two-seamer, but one you can command around the zone, a secondary pitch you can get for strikes, and a secondary pitch you can get for whiffs. And Patino right now is showcasing the, that he has a secondary pitch you can throw for strikes. That's two out of three inside of his bat. It's awesome. If you think there's an ideal repertoire, let me know in the comments, of course. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Uh, but really cool to see that from Luis Patino. I lo love to see that. Two out of three there. And now that you have him one, two, you can go heat her up. And look, Torres is on it still. So, like, fine, fine. If that's what you feel, slide her down. Oh, no, throw another fastball. <laughs> I kind of dig this. I mean, look, like, I'm kind of used to the guys coming up. They have that amazing breaker, and they rely on that for their strikeouts. And this is Batino pitching backwards. This is uh, three straight breakers to start this to get a 1-2, and then two straight fastballs to get the final strikeout. This is like almost identical to the one that got Stanton too, on the inner half. Man, I mean, it, it, you guys understand that like that fast one won't go away, and he's just gonna get better with his breaking stuff too, over time. You know, I do wonder if the uh, if the slider and curveball are gonna be that reliable to get strikes. We, we saw that two for three in that one, but it could have been one for three. He messed on the second one and got lucky with it. There's a changeup. It looked like. Wow, that looked like it had. Am I wrong in this? I feel like that came back. Maybe it was like a cutter. I don't know. That maybe it was just that, just a worse slider. Weird camera angle. He's throwing to the right. Like you want, you know, this is really good for lefties, but sometimes it can be hard for righties as they're going like that. Um, but I, I mean, you got a strike. Secondary pitch for a strike. That's what's up. Now, 0-2, you can throw a slider off of that away. You can throw a fastball up. What are you going to do? Slider away. Oh, you totally tugged that one. I mean, I'm the kind of guy who throws, you know, who misses with that and wants to go straight back to it again and throw the right one. But it looks like they're going to raise the glove up for a fastball. Love it. Love it. 97. He's struck at all three guys with fastballs. Ooh. 96 and 97 twice. Look, look at this skip. You deserve it. You deserve it, Patino. Killing it, man. Um, look, he throws electric stuff, right? I think there is improvement to be had with the breakers, and I'd say the major concern that I would have is if the slider and curveball can earn those strikes. Because, look, he set him up for fastballs as a strikeout pitch, kind of like how Bueller does it. Uh, the question is, can those breakers be enough to support that fastball? I think so. I think the slider is good enough. Uh, but if it's not getting strikes in a given day, that might be tough for Patino. But there's a lot to like here, and uh, I would be oof, I, I'd be so excited uh, to have him on any fantasy team. But really, just I'm excited for the Rays. And, you know, this was the Blake Snell trade, and my God, you're looking like you're winning it right now. It's kind of crazy. All right, that's going to do it for today's pitcher video breakdown. As always, you can watch these live on Twitch. You should do that. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning. You should be here. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. <laughs> May your pamas be low. And your strike outside. <laughs>